liver is under your right rib and if it's not happy when you push it it'll go don't is that right very simple test and you can see that I'm pushing my fingers way up under my ribs there but I don't have any discomfort at all if you have any discomfort no need to fear you're in a detox and your liver's very happy sorry not very happy because it's very busy it's very busy helping you to detox but it, it'll certainly recover so environmental poisons coming into the body, everything goes straight to the liver. And if it's toxic, the liver says, whoa, nasty guy, wrap him up in fat and store him. And if the liver looks at it and says, no, nah, we can break that down to a state that can be easily released, that is what it will do. What about food? Let me show you what it does with the food that comes in. And never in the history of mankind have human beings eaten so many carbohydrates. So we're going to do a carbohydrate assessment. And I want you to tell me what most Americans had for breakfast this morning. Toast, eggs, yeah, bacon. toast. So here we've got bread. Cereal. Cereal's a very popular one. One lady said egg. Sorry, no one cooks anymore. Is that right? Donuts. Donuts. Surely not. <laughs> and we talked about the healthiest part of the donut, didn't we? Which is the <laughs> hole in the middle. So we'll say for the donuts, the cakes, the, um, you call them biscuits. Do you know what we call biscuits? Cookies. So when we see a sign that says biscuits and gravy, we're thinking, oh, these Americans are strange people. They put gravy on their cookies. But I, I realise that I think your biscuit is like a scone like a, a roll or something like that. So I'm just going to say cakes, etc. So this takes into consideration the donuts, the biscuits, the cakes, the pastries, the pies, all of that. And uh, pizza. Same with pasta. I don't think there's a home today that doesn't have pasta. Would that be right? And rice is another carbohydrate. Potatoes. That's a high carbohydrate food. And last and certainly least in nutritive value is the pure crystallized acid that's extracted from the sugarcane plant. Now, would you agree with me, students, that Americans have become high carbohydrate consumers? Yeah. Now, I say, I say become because I don't think anyone chose to eat this way. It was just there, it's just easy. We're such a fast society today and many people don't think about their lunchtime till they're hungry.